Hey everyone, so I'm going to talk about uh, water and oil-based paints. Now, water-based paints are known as latex paints and oil-based paints are known as alkydes. And I'm, I'm going to try to just use the words water and oil-based during this video, but I apologize if I flip back and forth between alkydes and latex. Okay, so first let's start with the oil and let's talk about the downfalls to the oil. I'll talk about the pros to the oil in, in a couple minutes, but let's talk about the downfalls. So first, oil-based paints have an unpleasant odor. They take 24 hours to dry before you can apply a second coat, whereas with a water-based paint, you can do a second coat in as little as four hours. To clean up an oil-based paint, you need mineral spirits or paint thinner, so now you're introducing another harmful ingredient to the environment, and uh, paint thinner and mineral spirits cannot be poured down the drain, right? You need to take those to a household disposal place. Oil-based paints, especially lighter ones, have a tendency to yellow over time. White ones, if you've ever moved a couch in an old house and noticed that the trim behind the couch was more yellow than the rest of the trim, that's what I'm talking about, because it doesn't receive a lot of light. Oil-based paints can take a long time to off-gas, which is the complete evaporation of all the chemicals in the paint. They, it can take months for that stuff to come out of the paint. A darker oil-based paint will fade more quickly over time as they don't have the color retention that a latex does, especially on the outside of a house. And a dark oil-based paint will fade more quickly. If you use an oil-based paint, you, you're going to want to use a respirator. It can cause sore throats, headaches, uh, dizziness. So you just want to be really careful if you're going to use it. Now. Besides all the downfalls to it, one of the main reasons that a lot of people like to use it is because of its durability. Water-based paints are much better than they used to be, but they're not as durable as an oil. So if you're gonna use an oil-based paint, it will hold up better to traffic. Using an oil-based paint will, will allow for a smoother surface. Now, if you spray it, that's true. If you brush it, because it takes longer to dry, it can level out more. Uh, the brush marks can become less noticeable. I'm not gonna say they won't be noticeable, but they might be less noticeable. So when I talk about using an oil-based paint, I'm only talking about using it on the trim. I can't remember the last time I used an oil-based paint on the walls, and I certainly, I have never used an oil-based paint on the ceilings. So latex, water-based on the walls, water-based on the ceilings, and oil on the trim. It just gives you more durability. Now, there are a couple products out there. I'm more familiar with Benjamin Moore paint because it's my favorite, but a lot of manufacturers have created a product that's a hybrid paint, which is an oil that's actually suspended in water. So it goes on like a water-based paint, it cleans up like a water-based paint, and it's meant to have the durability of an oil-based paint. In my experience, if I'm going to compare Benjamin Moore's Advanced to Benjamin Moore's Satin Imperva oil-based paint, I think the oil-based paint, longevity-wise or durability-wise, is much better. Uh, but the Advanced is a great product. And Benjamin Moore has come out with another product called Scuff-X, and it's super durable. It's almost like a paint with a layer of varnish over the top of it. It's a, it's a wonderful product. And that's an option you can go down and you're looking for durability in the paint. This is a latex way to go that's much more environmentally friendly. So water-based paints are what most people use these days because of their ease of use, they're easy to clean, you know, it can be cleaned with, up with water, and it dries really fast. You can put a second coat in, in as little as four hours. And now most manufacturers have introduced what are called low, no, and zero VOC paints. VOC stands for volatile organic compounds. Those are the chemicals and toxins that are emitted during the drying process. The lower the VOC level, the better it is for your environment and for your health. And by definition, a low VOC means there's 50 grams of VOC per liter. Okay, always remember this, it's per liter. For a no VOC paint, it's five grams or lower, and for a zero, it means exactly that. It's important to note here, if you use a zero VOC paint, that when they add the colorants or the tints to it, that the colorants and the tints are also zero VOC paints. I've run across VOC paints that where the, where the can says it's zero, but the colorants are just regular colorants and that's adding VOC to the paint. So make sure you ask if you're, if you're concerned about that. So if I'm gonna compare the two, it's rare that I use an oil-based paints. If anything, I'll use a hybrid. Um, latex paints are the paints to go by. Hopefully this video has given you lots of information on oil versus latex paints. If you like this video, I hope you think about giving me a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you think about subscribing. Okay, thanks a lot.